what's up guys what's going on man let's see here i need to <clears throat> let me tilt this back just a tad it's been a while since i've actually just done a regular live without being in google hangouts what's up drone interest group what's happening guys give me one sec because i'm going to share this stream with um oh you know what i have to do first i got to do this then i got to go to share <sighs> All that whole shebang. Give me one sec, you guys. I'll be right back. I was going to share this in the Spark group to see if anybody wanted to chime in here. Let me just share this. Copy. Okay. And we'll go here. <laughs> Let me pull up the DJI group real quick. There was a bunch of people in there. I was having chat the third of the year. And I thought they would have some fun joining in here. So give me one sec and I'll check the comments. <clears throat> there we go. Um, oh my gosh. Create a conversation starter. There we go. Paste. Let me do this. Oops. What did I do? What is the deal here? Ah, this is so frustrating. There we go. Join us. All right. See if that goes through. Probably not anytime soon. All right, what's going on? Samuel Views, what's happening, dude? Don't forget to smash that like button on the way in. Drone Shots, what's going on, my brother? What is happening? We're just going to do a regular stream tonight. Great to see you, bro. Well, thank you. Thank you, man. I'm going to see if a, anybody wants to talk about some spark here. I want to talk about the durability and uh, whether you guys are running on the Go4 app or Litchi and which one you find to be a more stable platform. Silver Top Flyer. I'm going to do this just for you, buddy. Yep, I'm rubbing that goat beard for you. Definitely going to give her a little rub down. Oh, we got eight people in here now. So feel free to ask your Spark questions if you don't have one. And if you do, feel free to join in because I'm going to talk about my experience so far with the Spark and what my thoughts are. I've had it for close to six months now, somewhere around six months. And uh, questionable, questionable. Ten people in here. Don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, feel free to jump in chat if you get an opportunity. Clay, would you do cheek live video streaming? <laughs> oh, boy. Clay, I'm actually live right now. Live right now. Did I do that right? Yes. It's like, what? All right, drone shots. I fly both with Inspire. Nice. What's up, everybody? 23KC, you are new. What is going on? Older Mavic Pro, new Spark? Older Mavic Pro or new Spark? No, I'm talking about the, the Spark, man. Oh, we got 14 people in here quick. Don't forget to smash the like button, please, guys. And uh, moving forward here. I, I I have the Spark. I've had the Spark for roughly, like I said, around six months now. And uh, <laughs> Clay said he's going to join us in the live right now. Okay. Gabe, what's up? Um, I've had the Spark for roughly six months now. And I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's really had its ups and it's had its downs. There are certain days that I just wish it would work better. And some days it works flawless. Now, I don't understand why it has that tendency to want to work great on, on OTG cable some days and then other days it doesn't want to work. So <clears throat> and that's on, that's on uh, the Go4 app. Uh, the OTG cable is really hit or miss. Sometimes it works phenomenal and other times there's latency lag on OTG, which I fail to understand how that's possible. I have a Snapdragon processor and i'm running 8.1 oreo so i'm like one system behind the latest android version we got 16 people in here what's going on um 
Good evening, Nathan. Uh, send me a views. The Spark is awesome, John. I just hate that it connects by Wi-Fi. And like you said, there are days it's awesome. Yeah, but even even on, on it never works for me on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is just latency, latency, latency. It's pointless to even try to fly uh, on on Wi-Fi here in the Tampa area. I guess I've never gotten Wi-Fi to work great. OTG cables hit or miss until I switched over to Litchi. Once I started using the Litchi third-party app, phenomenal. The Spark turned into a totally different animal. Totally different. Do any of you guys fly on the Litchi app? Let me know. Fly in Jersey. What is going on? Life in a nutshell. Sorry about the IMs. I am in here now. Well, it's good to have you. Uh, Life in a nutshell. I actually just kicked off the live stream. You started messaging me on Facebook. So good to have you in here, brother. Um, I'm going to switch back to my drone obsessed account. All right. Sounds good. Jared, Jerry. I feel you. Uh, I like Litchi better than I do too. Everybody says somebody, uh, I forget his name was like in the, in the spark group, man. He was like batting it back and forth with me about how it's so unpredictable and how it's going to make your drone fly away. And, and there's a couple of videos, like I think with every app, you never know what's going to happen for every five people that have a flyaway, five people have a good experience. And it doesn't matter if it's go for or Litchi. I feel like, they're both still unstable in my mind. I, I have yet to see anything that's changed that so far. So we got 16 people in here and nine likes. Please don't forget to smash that like button, guys. And the other count is too restrictive. I completely understand, Jerry. <clears throat> Grandpa Ken in Canada. I haven't seen you around in a long time, brother. It is good to have you back. How much is the Litchi app? I can't remember because I bought it two years ago. And I think I paid $19.99, and now it's probably up to like $29.99, I would assume, something of that nature. Um, but I, I've had the purchase ever since, so I guess I got grandfathered into everything. But it does very specific things that the Go4 app just does not do. For instance, uh, here, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> if I were to put my phone into here, right? If I put my phone into here, OTG cable right into the side of it, plug it into the transmitter, and I activate VR headset in Litchi, I can actually turn on head tracking, which relies on the gyro sensor. So if I was to tilt my head down while I was in the goggles, it would physically move the gimbal down and up just using your, your standard cell phone device as your screen. Uh, I, don't, I, I have no intentions of going out and buying the DJI goggles just to be able to do this. I have an HD AMOLED screen. There's no point for me to go buy the goggles when I get the same thing basically out of this setup. I mean, probably a little more clear on the goggles, but you can't do that type of cool stuff without having the Litchi app. It also does uh, autonomous tracking, which is something that isn't offered in, in, in the Go4 app. And it has stationary tracking, which once again is another thing that isn't offered in the Go4 app. So in my head, I feel like Litchi is the more solid system. Okay, Drone Shot says it's now 25 bucks. So I guess they dropped it like $4. Um, I, I Go4 is. It is a resource monster. Litchi only takes 123 megabytes. Uh, I did notice that Go 4 uses almost 600 megabytes, and it progressively gets worse the more you use the app. Um, it's not getting worse for me running on Litchi. So, yes, it is definitely a resource monster. <clears throat> no, it, it, it's it, Jerry, it is a world of difference, man, being able to control the gimbal with your head. I, I promise you, for those of you that have never tried Litchi, if you have the funds to do it and you're flying on a DJI product, give it a shot, especially you Phantom 3 owners. I absolutely loved, I absolutely loved Litchi with my Phantom 3. Changed the entire ball game by getting Litchi with my Phantom 3 standard. I would still use it by today's standards. So, yes, waypoints for the Inspire one are better. Yes, I, I agree. Uh, Finch, what's up? Let's see. Juan Mason. Since I am from the South African, we have CE mode and not FCC. So the spark is very bad range wise, straight up above 300 meters, which is not good at all. That is going to present a problem depending on where you live. Like the FCC is pretty restricting here. We see that a lot with Hubson products. The FCC regulates the products coming from China and only allows them to go like 90 to 100 meters. And the only way to alter that is to adjust the firmware. It was the same thing with the DJI products when they first came out. 
<clears throat> so you may want to look into magic powers. I'm probably pretty sure at this point somebody has created a mod uh, for the spark with magic powers as well because the Phantom 3 standard uh, was a Wi-Fi operated bird and it came out with magic powers 5 taking the the signal and pushing it from 9 dB to 24 dB with a simple 10 minute uh, software patch and change the whole ball game for the Phantom 3 just by a simple firmware adjustment, allowing it to actually access all of the signal band that it was capable of instead of just a partial signal cut back by the FCC. So there, there are things that you can do. I'm sure by now somebody has probably started cracking and hacking. In, in the U.S., not, not that big of a deal. I have sent my Spark out two miles. Some of you have seen those flights. Um, I have sent mine out a mile over water, a mile back. It's, it's totally capable of doing these things. Um, you do get a little latency lag as you get out further, even on OTG, but that's to be expected, guys. The stupid thing is 5,280 feet away or more. You know what I mean? Technically, you shouldn't be flying like that. So here's what it is. I always choose locations that are out in the middle of nowhere when I'm going to do these types of things. So I would never do that in a rural area. I would never do it in a housing community complex. I would never do it downtown or city or anything like that. Uh, I would go only out into country land when I do those kinds of tests. That way, if anything happens, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Any recommended on a trick drone? <clears throat> you got to be more specific, a trick drone. Um, let's see. Oh, I can imagine it would be so much smoother with gyro than using the wheel. Oh, no, it is. It, it, the only thing you have to remember is that you want to move your head. And when you do, you're like, oh, I can't move my head because the gyro sensor is active with head tracking. So if you do end up moving your head to like, what is that? And you kind of like, you know, you think about it. So you make the motion, then it's going to do that with the gimbal. So you just have to remember to keep your head as straight as possible. And then as you want to look at something, slowly bring your head down and then maneuver the body, obviously, through yaw or roll, however you want to. But it does make for very smooth cinematic footage being able to use your head as the gimbal controls. Absolutely. 100% for the pilots thinking about it. Litchi is great. I do not think it's unstable like everybody claims. Maybe 10 months ago, 8 months ago, it was an unstable app before they actually started working with the firmware for the Spark. But yes. Uh, freestyle quad. Yeah, get a Baby Hawk or a Mobula 7. I hear the Mobula 7 is actually really good. The version 2 is actually pretty spectacular. So definitely. Um, and the trash can. I guess the trash can is pretty decent as well. I wouldn't. I wouldn't jump into five inch or three inch until you've actually had some whoop experience with some small brushless first and worked your way up. Um, but yeah, so totally the Finch. He's absolutely right. Drone shots would be correct. Those are great suggestions. What about geo restrictions with Litchi? Okay. So you have to remember that these, these geo restrictions are built into the, the, the software on the drone. It is installed to the drone. So it's not so much through the app. It's actually more through the drone. The drone understands it's in a no-fly zone. Okay. So there are NFC, uh, NFZ protocols that you can remove. I don't suggest doing it. I'm not telling anybody to do it. There are ways that you can remove all the restrictions from your DJI products if you want to. I have other birds that'll fly if I really need to go that route that are all open source. So <sighs> Spark is just a fun travel bird. But I didn't start liking the Spark until I bought Litchi because it was so unpredictable up to that point. I was either going to have a really good flight or a really crappy flight because of the Go4 app. And then ever since I made the maneuver to Litchi, it has just been a absolutely phenomenal experience with the Spark. So totally worth it. <clears throat> I did get a range extender now. Biggest problem is the battery life. No, I don't. Okay. Um, I don't see it as being a problem because... In eight minutes with one of my solos, in eight and a half minutes, I can fly four miles in eight and a half minutes. So the biggest thing with drones, and this is what I can tell people, the biggest thing with, with being a drone pilot and honing your skill set is being able to get most of the footage you need within eight to ten minutes of flying. Okay, and that means that you need to show up at your area, scout it first, walk around, figure out your best points of attack, your best vantage points, and then commit to the flight. Okay. Go out there and commit. Normally by 50% of the battery of any drone that I fly, I have the footage I'm looking for. I have the shots that I need. I'm back down, and then I do my editing. So I think it comes with experience and scouting. Those are the two biggest things that I can suggest as a, as a drone pilot for what you're looking for. As you get better, you won't have to worry about it. Dude, Jake Rock Workshop. What's up, dude? <clears throat> you guys are DJs? No, man. 
but I did want to did want to go over my experience with the spark because it sucked up until I got Litchy, and I was gonna put that out. The Finch, it's FPV fast, 113 miles per hour. There are some pretty quick ones out there now. <clears throat> Let's see. May I ask a question, please? Uh, Vinny G, feel free, man. Josh Saunders. What is going on, man? Don't forget, if you just popped in, please smash that like button. Show some support to the channel. Um, I am very busy right now. Hopefully in June, I'll be able to make some really interesting video for you guys that I've been hoping for the past two years that I could make. And uh, I think it's starting to really smooth out. I'm going to have to explain trickle-down economics when I do the video so people don't get mad about why I do the video. But hopefully coming into June, I'll have a fun video for you. I hear a lot of people say that, 50, that making 50 cents on a video is a joke. Why even do this type of stuff? And I think coming into June, I'm going to have a prime example of why it's worth your time to commit to YouTube and push yourself to do better. Hopefully that comes out how I want it to. Hopefully things go smoothly. So Dan's a rapper. I'm a rapper. I was a poet and I didn't know it. I'm with it, dude. No further questions, please. <laughs> I'm looking at the Mavic Pro. It's 2.4K here in Aussie. Your thoughts? 2.4K. I'm sorry, $2,400? Is that what you're saying? It's $2,400 in Aussie? That's really high. That's crazy. Um, man, it's, it's what well, you can buy a package now for the Mavic pro for like eight ninety nine or something like that. Now, maybe even less like seven ninety nine. I think you can get the fly more combo at this point. So could be worth it. Yeah, that's, that's nuts, man. Uh, is it the Mavic pro or the Mavic two? Even if it was the Mavic two, that's still really crazy. I would move. <laughs> I would move. I'll put you up in my house for a week. Uh, maybe I'll give you two. Get get on your feet. Okay? Start a life over here where things are cheaper. Come on over, man. I have a couch for you and everything. I got you, bro. Move while you can. Get out of there, dude. <clears throat> I'm working 14-hour days. Silvertop, that's crazy. I don't know how much it is. Yo, Adrian, what's up, bro? Let's see. Um, let me check something here. Google. We're going to run a comparison between Aussie and, and American dollar. One Australian dollar equals 72 cents United States dollar. Whoa. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's extremely high priced. Whew. Holy mackerel. I wouldn't touch it with a stick. With that dude's stick, with his stick, with anybody's stick, I, I would avoid it like the plague. Get yourself a bebop too. <laughs> Save yourself. Glenesis, just vacation in the U.S. Buy the Mavic Pro, fly more here. Yeah, totally. For that kind of price, I'd take a vacation to the U.S. and purchase it here and then just go home. You'll probably still have money left over. I'm with it. That is a really smart idea. Vacation here, buy it here, bring it back with you. Good idea. Save your money. Yeah, no. Totally, man. <laughs> totally, that's crazy. Oh, man. I don't know. Did that post ever go through? I can't tell. I don't think it did. Nope. I don't think they cleared my post here. Let me, uh, ooh, what did I do? I broke it. <sighs> <sighs> I broke it. Mm. 
Yeah, no, they screwed me. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, Matt Tripp, why is the spark still good for 2019? Well, that is a good question. I think that's really going to depend on the person flying it. Not everybody is going to like it in 2019. I happen to personally like it as long as I'm running it on Litchi. So I don't know. I think it's really going to depend on the person. My opinion is it still takes phenomenal footage. Uh, it can still fly four miles if I need it to. It's totally travel-friendly, small platform that you can really take anywhere in your backpack with a nice little case. I can charge it on my cell phone or charge it with my cell phone pack on the go, and it'll charge in about 45 minutes while I'm just walking around on a nature trail somewhere. I mean, there's a plethora of reasons why I think it's still good in 2019 compared to other stuff on the market. But uh, if you want my opinion, I think it's good. Uh, I'm not happy about all the no flight zones and restrictions and, you know, very, very, very aggressive firmware that's been installed on it now with all this craziness, but I'm going to deal with it because I don't want to lug around bigger drones. <sighs> Sorry, just got off work. Um, just bought a Mavic Pro for the school Flymark Combo Plus under 900. That's a really good deal, Jerry. Hopefully, uh, after June, I'll be able to start looking at another bird, man. Something I really want to get. So, Exchange Rate would still get them. This is true. Very true. That's true. I didn't think about that, Jerry. Good call, bro. Good call. Ugh. Get a Tello. The Tello is good if you hook a Wi Fi extender to it, a range extender. Um, you know, I, I love my Tello. I love the Bebop One on a Wi Fi repeater. So, yeah, totally, totally accurate. Get a Wi-Fi repeater. I, actually, uh, Adrian, I just messed with my first Altel Evo the other, what, two days ago. Two days ago? I, I was questioning whether I liked it or not after flying it. Uh, a buddy brought it over for me to be able to put my hands on it, get a feel for it. And... It had a lot of gimbal problems while we were out there, uh, magnetic compass issues. It took a while to get it off the ground. Then we had to recalibrate a whole bunch of things, and he had been flying it daily. So I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I didn't like the button placement for A and B on the back of it. I didn't like the antenna placement where your phone goes because then it blocks signal. There's, there's a bunch of stuff they really should have gone back through and solved before they released it, I feel like. So, I don't know, man. Those are my thoughts. TLS Gaming. It's been a while since I've seen you, dude. Yeah, it's all good, man. Dang. Boy, I started this live stream and I started yawning. I'm not tired, but I'm yawning now. I wonder how many other people in here just yawned because I yawned. Talk to me. Let's see. Anafi is good. That's what I really want. I want the Anafi, man. I want to modify the Anafi. I want to have fun with the Anafi. I want to send the Anafi out. Stupid, stupid far. Stupid far for no reason. Just want to send way, way out to the room. Don't come back. Okay, come back. I miss you already. I do, though. I want to, I want to buy the Anafi because there's something about the gimbal. I would love to go underneath bridges and be able to do a bridge inspection with the Anafi. Alfred, what's going on, dude? Long time. Proper FPV. Well, we got some faces in here now. People just popping up. Yeah, I'm doing fine, bro. I, I, I Listen, Dan was always doing fine. Dan just decided there are people he doesn't need in his life on YouTube and totally scrapped them and moved forward from there. So you got to support me. We don't. Doesn't matter to me. I'm going to be DW. I'm going to be here. I'm going to do my thing like I always have. Okay. You can turn as many people as you want against me, whatever the case is, man. I earn these bags under my eyes. My channel is where it is because I did the work and the effort. Nobody can tell me how to do things. I'm here because I want to be. So, yeah, the bridge thing. And, and I love doing this, honestly. Otherwise, I would have quit a long time ago. This is too much fun. Even though it can be a bit stressful, it's still too much fun. And when you enjoy something this much, you continue doing it. So, there you go. Yo, the new Anafi Thermal does look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I know that they had a go at it with the Bebop 2, but it was really weird because the Bebop 2 one had the thermal camera on the back of it, which was a really strange setup in my eyes. Um, 
but it was cool because you could switch in between the camera on the back and the front. So what was neat is that if you activated thermal mode, you could actually fly backwards with forward controls, which I thought was super, super cool being able to initiate that mid flight. So essentially if you were to activate it, it would immediately switch to the back camera and it would fly backwards just like it would forwards. Same principle applies. Very cool setup. Parrot was thinking when they designed that product, but now with the Anafi, you don't really have to do that. I don't think so. It was cool. I have to bounce to get back to the RB6 and a couple matches before bed. Life in a nutshell. Just take it to them, man. Don't stress the ridiculousness. Just give them hell, bro. Remember what Vikings do. Vikings burn their ships when they reach the, the land they're coming to conquer. And the reason Vikings burn their ships when they land is because they don't want to retreat and they don't want to surrender. They burn any way of escape off the island, so there's nowhere to go but forward. Vikings are animals, dude. Conquer everything or die trying. So life in a nutshell, you have my advice. You know how I run my YouTube channel. You know how I do things. I'm a freaking Viking with it, dude. <laughs> I think Parrot will go commercial and ditch the consumer models. I think they're already starting on that path proper, honestly. Pew, 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 drone obsessed, Jerry. Life in a nutshell, will do. There you go. hoo -ah. When did you change your channel name? Yawns. Oh, gosh, I change my channel name every six months. I always leave drone worship, but I always change the premise of the channel to something else normally every six months. So... <laughs> If Parrot goes to commercial and ditches consumer, it's because of the people uh, been too loyal. to do. I completely agree. I've been talking about this for months about how, you know, look, the DJ, DJI products are what they are. Okay. They're very restrictive. They're, they report everything that you do to the FAA. Like DJI is kind of like, to me, it's the epitome of the drone market in all honesty. Not to say their products are bad, but they work with the FAA too much and they work with the government way too much for me to really like them as a company. Their tech support is pretty horrible, to be honest with you. Um, they make good birds. I just, it's weird to say that a Chinese bird is going to be good. Have any of you ever thought about that before? It's Chinese products. Normally, when we think of China, we think of like, oh, this is a cool little toy. Oh, I broke it. You know, like the quality control just isn't there. So I'm really surprised by DJI, honestly, being the best of the drone market, seeing as it's Chinese. But it is what it is. Nothing against China. I just, I think they're extremely restrictive, man. They're the Apple of the, of the drone world. Just like 3DR Solo is the Android Linux based of the drone world. So... And you get what you pay for. Super restrictive firmware that you can't do anything with, but you can say, hey, I own a DJI. I'm a brand name person. You know? <clears throat> Let's see. Only Apple support has never let me down. I hear you. Now just remember, guys, these are just my opinions. They're not, they're not truth. They're not fact. They're not they're, they're my opinions. What I think, you know, you can think whatever you want. That's fine. I, I'm not going to curve your opinion on that. You, you know, you're here to just listen to me rant and rave about drones that are taking over the market. So, you know, don't take it at full face value. Nice headset. Is it new? Uh, TLS. It's actually um, a couple months old now. I like it. It gets me off that boom mic that I had. I actually gave that to somebody else. So, I wanted a headset so I could leave my hands available to do things. I kind of want to go wireless now that I have it, but it's all good, man. It's it's fine. So the Finch. Is that, did I miss something? Most drones are from China. No, and I agree. That's why I'm really happy that Aerospace Drone stepped in and decided to make the uh, Evolve, that new drone. TLS, don't say yawns, man. Oh, man. I just stopped. Ugh. You're killing me, kid. Don't say it. Don't don't say it. A little more latency with wireless. I right, that's fine. Oh, that's good. That's good, man. Don't care where you're from. That's good. All right.
Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Can't live without this ever since I quit smoking. I, I still, this is a lot cheaper though. I'm not going to lie. This is way cheaper. Um, I bought two packs of coils. This will last me like a full year for like $5. I got new glass tubes for this. I know you can't see those. So maybe you can. I got new glass tubes for this for like 99 cents. And then the juice I get is like $5. And one of these lasts me like a whole month. So it's so much cheaper. So much cheaper. And it tastes so much better. Wait. We got Tablet Face in here. Where is she? Crystal. Crystal. Crystal's in here. What's up? Sorry, Crystal. I got home and had to do a live stream, man. Oh, you're right, Jerry. But Wednesdays are always a late night for me. I always pay for it on Thursday. Need a good meal. Oh, no, I've had a good meal. Mm. What did I have tonight? I don't remember what I had tonight. I know what I had tonight. I had full-on grenade tonight. That's what I had. I had an edible grenade. No, I'm just kidding. We pull the pin on that every live stream. I got to stop doing that. I got to stop pulling the pin, man. Never know. I'm just going to explode one of these times. Mm, oh, fucking. <laughs> Well, thank you, Crystal. I didn't have fajitas. That sounds good, though, but I didn't have fajitas. No, I ate DJI for dinner. That's what I had. I had DJI. Me and the 3DR Solo sat down, and we got our knife out, and we cut some DJI up and fed it on our fork and we ate it real smoothly. It was super tasty. It was very good. Extra gravy on top, man. <sighs> Unbeatable meal. <clears throat> so... Anybody else experience? I'm not having tacos. I wanted tacos, but then I remembered I had all this DJI to eat when I got home, so I went ahead and had some of that. There's plenty around here. I'll hand it around if you want it. So that's it. That's pretty much what I was going to say. So people start dropping out like flies like they are right now. That's because we've switched conversation and we're moving on to other things. That was my DJI rant. That's my DJI rave. That was my talk about the spark and what I think so far about that little guy. Holy crap, a $2 super chat from Matt Tripp. Recommendations for a drone under $400. I don't even have to think twice about that. It is currently sitting right there. Bebop 2 with Sky Controller 2 FPV package. magical this is such a fantastic little platform no joke you can pick them up online refurbished right now on ebay for around 250 bucks full package ready to roll i hope that helps i i would never even consider purchasing something else for that price i would go for a bebop 2 again all day just saw one on Amazon for 200 plus. Yeah, like I said, refurbished right now. They're about 250 on eBay, 246, somewhere around there. Totally worth it. The Bebop is a fantastic platform. Offers you everything you could possibly want in a drone. Uh, super easy to work with. Kids can fly it. Adults can fly it. Fantastic platform. Takes very decent footage, full stabilization, no external camera needed, everything. Comes, just, just watch some Bebop 2 flight videos. Trust me, you won't regret it. Oh, who had chicken strips? Not a problem, Matt. Glad I could help, bro. Let's see. Oh, yeah, man. Chicken strips does sound good. I'm not going to lie. So now we're just kind of kicking it. If you decide to stick around, that's on you. You want to kick it, Hank? Hey, Josh Saunders with another two dollars super chat. Black sheep drone flyer. Ba ba ba. No DJI for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny, man. Well, thank you for the super chat, bro. Um, dude, it's been forever since I've had one too. That makes you feel really good, honestly. Thank you, both of you, Matt and Josh. That was amazing of you. Um, yeah, dude. Normally I just sit on here and talk. It's it's rare that that happens, so it feels good when it does. Thank you. Not to say that I'm not happy again. I'm, I'm becoming my old happy self, which is good. It's just taking a while. It's just taking me a while to get back into the groove of things, I think. 
DJI is a cult with the FAA. No, nah, it is, man. DJI is a little on the crazy side. Uh, actually, they're about the same speed in sport mode, bro. Uh, I think I've clocked my... I think they're about the same speed. The 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 actually the uh, parrot the Bebop two might be faster, might be in sport mode. They're pretty closely matched. I think top speed is like thirty three, thirty four. I think on a on a tailwind day, I got about thirty six out of it. And I think the fastest I've ever had the spark with a tailwind was like thirty three. So I think they're pretty closely matched in sport mode. But remember this, with the Spark in sport mode, if you even adjust the yaw or the roll factor while going forward, the whole camera will jerk sideways and tilt. And you'll see that on camera. With the uh, Bebop 2, it's stabilized flight footage through Linux-based software. So when you tilt or do anything, it'll leave. My head won't move. It'll stay right there. It won't do this with the camera. It'll completely keep that square shot. No matter what you do, slam on the brakes forward. The head's going to stay right there. So Bebop 2 on that takes it all day. I actually did a stability test on my channel saying how good the Bebop 2 uh, uh, stabilization really was look up drone worship bebop 2 stabilization i did a whole breakdown video talking about how good the stabilization is and showing it on camera so you'll get to see that it's it's fantastic man absolutely fantastic they do such a good job of their stabilization yo yo i agree with that glenn <laughs> glenn just says yeah bebop stabilization is alien technology bro it really is man it, it's 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 way ahead of its game. It's been ahead of its game since 2014. Same stabilization software that was in 2014 for the Bebop 1 got better with the Bebop 2. Just freaking fantastic. All right, what did I miss here? Hi, Drone Shots. Glenn, this is Spark can handle 39 miles per hour headwinds. <clears throat> hey, Dan. Let, this, Ryan, I've got Ryan saying that now. Parrot goes about 40. I think the fastest I've ever gone was like 37 with a tailwind. So I proper, I will test that again. One of these days I'll take it out there and I'll let her rip tater chip. All right. Now I know Ryan likes that. I know Ryan likes to say let her rip tater chip. Now I started something here again, just like I used to do pew, pew, pew. Now I do let her rip tater chip or full send, full send. Let her rip tater chip. If it's a boat, I say let her eat. <clears throat> it's time to let her eat, baby. Let her rip tater chip. I wanted Larry the Enticer. I've been trying to get Larry the Enticer. I've, I found him on Facebook. I messaged him. We talked for a little bit. I think he feels he's kind of really famous now because of that stupid thing. Just gonna send it. I tried to get him to make an intro with me and send it to me for drone worship, but he was not about that life. I just wanted a full send Larry the Enticer drone worship intro. I thought that would have just been hilarious. What did you miss about the Spark? What did you miss about the Spark? I didn't miss anything about the Spark. I think the Spark is great if you operate it on Litchi. Oh, I did drop it. <laughs> Funny story. At DW Fest, I left the bag open and I opened it from the back seat. So just, just to give you an idea of how durable the Spark really is, I picked it up and it opened the bag and it like slung the spark when it opened at a high rate of speed across the concrete parking lot. Thump, bang, whack, thunk, dish. Gimbal plastic guard went flying that way, skidded across, fell. Not a mark on it. <laughs> this is concrete we're talking about here. Full on black paved top. Smacked, crunch, bang, boom, controller right there with it. Boom, 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 bouncing all the way down the driveway craziness spark is still intact controller still intact not a scratch thing flies like a champ so there you go i couldn't do that with any of my other birds if they fell and smacked the ground that hard they would have broken parts or components so there you go give the spark a little more uh to it there a hey, tech rd pk i tech i wanted to congratulate you on passing a hundred thousand subscribers my friend your channel has absolutely exploded, dude. I was checking in on you like four months ago, and you were nowhere near those numbers, dude. Your channel just went <clears throat> So big shout-outs to Tech. Dude, your channel, boom. 
just absolutely craziness. Crazy craziness. Congratulations to you, bro. <clears throat> hey, it happens, man. <laughs> well, thank you, bro. Uh, Tech's have been watching me for a long time, man. Um, you know, Tech Tech really knows what he's talking about. It's fun watching his channel, too. So if you guys haven't made your way over to Tech uh, Tech's channel, PK there, make sure you do that. Smart guy. Really informative. <clears throat> puts out a lot of good content. So, Lane Last, what's going on, dude? Have you dropped the spark from the solo? I have not, dude. Uh, no problem, Matt. Glad I could help, brother. Simply Shannon in the house. She's another fun channel. Make sure if you guys haven't subbed up to Miss Simply Shannon. She's a very good streamer as well. She gets quite a few people in her room at a time. She does very good. So, Silvertop, gave you love, Tech. There you go. Supported you, Tech. There you go. You got some channels to support their tech. They're uh, making their way over to you. Uh, Ment, what did I miss? Oh, sorry for the spark discussion. Nothing, Thomas. Uh, your best bet is probably just to rewatch the stream, honestly, because we covered so much, Thomas, and I really don't want to go back and kind of reopen that whole can all over again and start from the from the get-go. Most of these people have stayed in here the whole time, so I, I don't really want to hit them with the same information. I guess uh, if I had to do a 30-second breakdown of what we discussed so far, my six month review of the spark, what my thoughts were up to this point, which software it runs on best, which app it likes the most and how durable it is. 30 second breakdown. <clears throat> I'm great on panels. Thank you, drone. Yes. If no, you're, you're good by yourself as well. I apologize for all the trolling activity I saw on your channel the other day, man. That really sucks. You had a crazy amount of trolls in there. That is part of doing YouTube. So Night, guys. I'm off to bed. Thanks for stopping in, Crystal, and being absolutely amazing. <laughs> all, all Ryan wants to ever hear me say is, let her rip, tater chip, full send. <clears throat> I have tested the Spark range. Uh, I've made it two miles away and two miles back on one battery. I landed on 13% battery, but I did make it back. So, yes, it will go that far, and I chose to fly over water just in case anybody was curious out in the middle of nowhere. So in case I lost a spark, it's not landing on somebody's house, and it's not landing on somebody's face, and it's not, you know what I'm saying, like middle of nowhere. Anytime you do these range tests, guys, I try to just take it out in the middle of nowhere. So for those of you that watch my farm country runs, we pick the middle of freaking nowhere to test these things. So, ah, Q500. Yes, yes. Oh, why did he retract it, Silver Top? Why'd you retract, bro? Any sight on the Q500? I myself have flown it. I've owned it. It is a big bird. It has a lot of motor problems. The the normally the B motors get hotter than the A motors. I don't know why that is, but normally that signifies the bearings are going bad and they're the first ones to go. I can never figure it out for the life of me. It looks like a Klingon warbird. It does okay. It's it's okay. It doesn't like the wind. It's very hard to land in windy conditions. It's a very oversized drone. It was meant for a time when real estate marketers were doing their own thing. Instead of hiring a drone pilot, they designed the package for realtors so they could get out, put it up, shoot in 4K, disconnect the gimbal, do the walkthrough of the house with the steady cam, and call it a day. That's really what it was designed for. It was designed for the real estate market. I don't think it's good as just a drone to own. It's very limited on range unless you do the Itila light setup and you modify some of the range. I think the furthest mine ever made, it was like 1,800 feet, and then it started having signal loss problems. So I can't say that it's a great drone. It's probably fantastic if you're staying close to yourself and you're getting some very simple footage. Um, that's my opinion, though. Yes, that's what we should all do. The best practice. Yes. Expensive to fly. So do you think getting the new Spark soon? I I would say that I've been thinking they're going to do a Spark 2 anyways. Uh, I didn't think. Everybody was saying that the Mavic Air they thought was the runner-up for the Spark. 
And I didn't think so. I, I figured if they started a whole new platform and called it the Spark, that we were going to get a Spark 2 or a Spark Plus or something of that nature. I think that's probably going to happen. I think a lot of people really did like the Spark, uh, even though it had its inconsistent problems out the whole. I think that they're probably going to offer a second, a second Spark lineup. I, I fairly certain that's going to happen. I'm normally right instinctually about these things. I knew they were going to end the Phantom lineup. I saw that coming a mile away. I knew that was going to happen. Um, I, I just felt they were going to design a Spark too. It may have been beta for the Mavic Air, but then people like the stink, the stinking thing so much. I think they're going to commit to a Spark 2. Honestly, I do. So, Should I opt for refurbished Mavic or new Spark? That is a good question. Um, it depends on how much you have to spend. The Mavic, is it the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air? You got to be a little more precise, man. Yeah, <laughs> Lane last said, which Mavic? It was a good question. I was like, mm, there's, there's like five or four of them now. You got to be a bit more specific. Simply Shannon, I still have my drone in the tree. I <laughs> thought maybe the leaves starting my makeup fall. Mavic Pro, uh, it's not even a, a question. Uh, I would definitely go with the Mavic Pro over the Spark, hands down. If you have the money to get the Mavic Pro, do it. The Spark is more of a travel-friendly kind of cross-platform. It's a mix between selfie and aerial photography, but it definitely has its drawbacks. So if we're throwing that out there, it's, it's not as good as the Air or the Mavic products. It is base model for DJI is basically what it is. It's good for what you get. It's a great starter platform, or in my case, when I vlog, it's so small, it's easy to take with me. Instead of one of these, I can take that. One of these that four pounds almost 315 grams four pounds 315 grams with a carrying case you be the judge if i'm doing something professional these would go with me if i'm just having fun that or eh, 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 that would go with me <laughs> drone in the tree not a good thing i would agree with that i concur it's way up in a tree so you know if you guys just stopped in or you've been in here for a minute please don't forget to smash the like button we're sitting on 29 i think we can break 29 i think we can get 30 at least i think a couple people probably came in and forgot to push the like button please show me some love and support please please sir can i have some more i feel like oliver asking for my like I, I need more. Give me more. Give me more, sir, please. I'm hungry. Oh, see? There we go. 31. You guys are my hero. <laughs> 32. Now we're talking. Inspire Mini Replace P4. I think uh, 33. Yay! I think we're going to get a cross between Phantom and Mavic. I think there's going to be an in-betweener. I do. I really do. <laughs> Ah, Simply Shannon. Thank you. 34. That's what I'm talking about. Dan used 3DR Solar and new Mavic Pro. Oh, oh that's a hard one, Glenesis. Oh, why did you have to pick such a hard versus? I'm going to stick with the 3DR because I know I can modify it. And it doesn't have any restrictions. And it shoots in 4K. And I can add anything I really need to to it if I have to. You may get better flight time and it's more compact and travel friendly. But if I'm doing professional work, I would rather take the solo. <clears throat> Dad, I, I think, yeah, man, honestly, I would rather have the solo. It can take all the way up to the GoPro Hero 7 now with the standard gimbal. There's people showing how to modify the gimbal now through a breakout board and have full functionality of a GoPro Hero 7. As I told you, the Solo does not become obsolete. It just gets better over time. It's like a fine wine. You can never make it obsolete technology because it's open source. That's what I was trying to tell everybody from the get-go. I don't ever really have to upgrade. I choose to get other products for testing, but in all honesty, if I really want to get work done, these are the workhorses of the sky. 
it is so strong it can lift an entire another one of itself and fly for six minutes i can pick up another fully loaded solo with a fully loaded solo and fly around my yard for six minutes you want to talk about rescuing another drone that's the platform to do it with crazy strong crazy powerful it is the workhorse of the sky it weighs four pounds it will pick up another four pounds eight pounds all together and fly it around your yard like it's a toy you be the judge man lou rock in the house oh my god lou rock is another channel that took off uh lou rock i assume you're sitting on 15 or 16 000 subs at this point man congratulations sir I saw that you stopped in the other night. I didn't really have a chance to say howdy because there was kind of so much going on in the chat and I had people in the panel, but Lou Rock is another one of those channels that just beast moded it and took off. So congrats to Lou Rock doing awesome things, brother. <clears throat> Saying if you can pitch over top, you might get it down. Yes, right. Okay. I had a feeling you'd say that. <laughs> Listen, man, the 3DR solo isn't for everybody. It is a big drone. It's a fun platform. It takes a lot of work, and it's a DIY drone. It is a maintenance whore. It requires attention, okay? To make it what you want it to be, you have to invest the time and effort. It is not a drone for everyone. If you just want to get up and fly, take some professional shots, stick with DJI. If you really want to get into to the DIY aspect and finding out just how deep the rabbit hole goes and unplugging yourself from the matrix that's what the solo does for you the solo gets you out of the matrix and shows you what the real world is <clears throat> put in a nutshell going on big trip big collabs coming up that's what i'm talking about lou rock good for you man i love to watch you guys grow this just feels good man feels good to watch you guys take off i used the karma in my last intro i'm gonna have to check that out lou Definitely do that. I was not a big fan of the karma, but I'm, I'm going to watch your video for sure, man. Hopefully that footage looks really good. Exomi. I'm thinking about the Exomi, honestly. The Fimi X8 or S8. I'm, I'm definitely thinking about getting that. Dustin has been talking it up on my Facebook for the longest. I've asked him tons of questions about it. He seems pretty set in his ways that he, out of the, out of the, uh, what is it? The, uh, the Zeno or the Femi, he definitely prefers the Femi over the Zeno. Uh, says it's a fantastic platform. So, and he's getting some pretty killer range, apparently. I, I'm about it, man. <laughs> Actually, solos for Dan. Perfect match. It, it definitely was, man. It was a match made by heaven, I think, uh, for me to find the solo. But as I said, it's not for everybody. You know, don't don't jump into purchasing a solo because you got it for a good price. You got it for a good price because somebody else wasn't willing to put the time and effort into it. Uh, if you get it, you're going to it's a DIY platform. It is something you have to work at to make it amazing. Just remember that. Anybody give me a Zeno? You know, the friendship is over. <laughs> Adrian, I'm with you, dude. I am not a fan of the Zeno. The Zeno is an overrated 501S. It's it just is. It is. Uh, there's no other way I can see it. Um, bunch of insomniacs around here. Ed, you already know what the deal is. And you know what, Ed? You just popped in and didn't push the like button, bro. You know how I know? Because you just said something and it hasn't changed up top. I'm holding you accountable, that, sir. I'm holding you accountable. You make love to that like button. You touch it and fondle it in weird ways, sir. Matter of fact, I got one of those around here. I'm gonna I'm gonna love on it myself. Where are you? There, there it is. There it is. You make love to that button, sir. And if you haven't already, <laughs> dang that bell. I used to have, oh, here it is. Chris also, three. those are all 3D printed. Chris also made me this one. Subscribe. I don't know where I'm going to hang these. I still haven't figured it out yet. I'll put them on the wall. I can't really see them. Maybe I'll take a black marker or something and sketch over this so that you can see it. Chris did a good job 3D printing these, though. They were fun. <clears throat> Da, 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 da. Matt Tripp, I'm back. Last question. Which Sky Controller 1 or 2 for range link stability? I saw one of your videos using the Sky Controller 1. I myself am a big fan of Sky Controller 1. It's big. It's gaudy. And it makes a point. It says, I feel like a cockpit of an airplane. I want you to caress my sticks like this. I want you to love me in a circular motion. 
I want you to feel me. I want you to rub my top here, my my antenna array. I will support you in everything that you do. We will get married. We'll have little sky controller ones and twos. It'll be a great relationship. That's how I feel. The sky controller one is my baby. I've had the sky controller two and I was not as impressed. I love, I absolutely love the antenna array on here. It has four antennas versus the two that come on the sky controller one. I do know for a fact this can hit three miles of range because I've done it. And it just feels like so much boss in your hands. God flies with this controller. I'm fairly certain if God had a drone, this is a controller of choice he would choose. So for me, it's the Sky Controller 1. It also cuts out the redundancy of having to have an extra battery because it takes the same battery your drone operates on. So I can just unplug my battery when it uses all of 3% for a 20-minute flight, plug it directly back in into my drone take the drone battery as long as it's got more than 20 percent clip it into here and go for another flight without having to carry an extra battery in my pocket so you tell me which one you want more can't do that with a sky controller too <clears throat> so just my personal opinion love it make love to it caress it touch it in weird ways talk dirty to it whisper sweet nothings into its little antenna ray ears you got this, bro. You tell I'm back to my old self, man. I'm feeling better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cockpit of airplane. It actually does. It, believe it or not, man, when it's around your, your, your neck, dude, I'll kid you not. As soon as this goes around your head like this and you let it settle, I just I just want you to see this. When you let this settle and it hangs by itself and you get this thing in your hands and you're looking down at a massive tablet screen and you are inside these controls, bro, it is a totally different world, man. You are one-on-one. -on -one. It feels like you're grabbing the cockpit of an airplane and you're physically taking your drone on a crazy flight. This, I would not have it any other way. <laughs> Hey, just being honest, bro. It's something you have to experience for yourself. <clears throat> hey, 39 likes. We're almost at the 40 mark. That's what I'm talking about. Stop getting him excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, it's 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 uh, it, you know what? It's still good to have both of them. It really is. It's good to have both controllers. Each one is going to offer you something a little different. <clears throat> I see forty. I still see thirty nine. I can't refresh my own stream. Oh, that's all good. <laughs> I can picture it and show forty already, Dan. There we go. Now we're talking. Usually in the morning. Da, da, da. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. I try to catch everything you guys say. It is definitely good for large tablets. All right. Well, Matt, I hope that answers your question. Phantom Flight 101. Hello, everyone. What is going on, Mr. Phantom Flight? Will you be live tomorrow morning, Bradley? I hope he does. I, you know, I used to be able to catch everybody's streams, but since I changed my job, it's made it a lot harder to pop in on everybody's stuff now. I would like to say I can do it like I used to, but I, unfortunately I can't. My job credentials have changed too much to be able to pop in like I used to. So I try to. Even if I'm only in there for two minutes, guys, a minute, if I say something, man, just, just know I'm trying to be supportive as much as I can with the breaks or time limits that I have. So I, I really am. Let's see here. Same old thing, he says. Solar was the first drone. Felt comfortable flying over water. May the force be with you. Yes. Uh, the Solo is a fantastic bird. Even if you just buy it, it's equivalent to the base model Phantom 4 out of the box now. Okay. So if you think the Solo still sucks and you happen to find one for 200 bucks, it's equivalent to a Phantom 4 Pro. Or a, a Phantom 4 base model. 
without modifications or upgrades. You will get basically the same thing out of it that you can get out of a Phantom 4 except for $225, as long as you get your hands on a GoPro. Now remember, the batteries are from 2015. They are failing. If you want to continue using the Solo, I'm going to give an example. I charged this battery yesterday. It's already down two or three lights. That's an old, that's a, that was a fresh battery. It's already retracted two lights. That's how you know these are old batteries. Now, sometimes you get lucky. This battery has been charged for three days. Full across the board. So I know this battery is still probably in good shape. Same thing with this one. Across the board. So... I have one questionable battery that's about to get torn down and turned into a DIY battery. You guessed it. <clears throat> you guessed it. Well, guys, we're coming up on 1222 AM. I've had a pretty good stream. I think we were a constructive screen, uh, stream. And I even got some super chats. That felt really good. It's been a long time since I've had super chats. That felt really good. So thank you for the two super chats I got. That was amazing of you guys. Um, Ryan, I know you want to hear me say let her rip tater chip again. So let her rip tater chip. Send her full send, baby. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think I think we've covered everything we're going to tonight. I don't really have an open panel, so... I can't really invite people on. It's just me chatting, and I don't like to carry things longer than they should. We've had a very good discussion, I feel like. So it uh, totally worth my time. I hope it was worth your time. I hope you guys came in and had some fun. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to do another live stream. Um, feel free to weigh in on topics, too, guys, after the stream is over. If there's something you want to see me talk about, just put it in the comment section. My email address is attached to every single one of my videos, feel free to clip on, click on the description. And uh, if you have an email you want to send me or a question or you just want to hang out or do a collaboration on YouTube, I'm always up for that, man. Just uh, like I said, send me a message. I'm, I'm a pretty outgoing guy. I try to be as available as possible when I can. So I'm heading to the office. Sounds good, tech. Thanks for stopping in, brother. It is definitely not 9 a.m. here. It is 12.23 a.m. here. And uh, it is time for me to hit the sack. So the 15th went perfect, Ed. I have the video out. There's also a video on eDrone's channel. So let her rip, tater chip. There you go, Ryan, just for you, buddy. So I will catch you guys on the flip. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for being super supportive. As always, I'm trying to be the happy DW I used to. I really got to be in the mood for these things. And, and tonight I was. I was feeling pretty good. I got everything accomplished at work today. Over accomplished. I was feeling overachieved today. Can you imagine that? So, hey, when I feel overachieved, I'm happy. Then I don't have the big bags under my eyes, you know? So we will catch you guys on the flip, man. Toodaboo.